Abbiamo qui con noi Olga Karac. Ciao Olga. Eh, ciao. Oh. Nell'ambito della campagna di obiezione alla guerra del movimento non violento. E Olga ci dà un saluto e il suo messaggio, la sua missione speciale per cui è qui con noi per gli amici del movimento non violento. Olga. My name is Olga Karac, I am from Belarus. I am the representative of Human Rights and Peace Builders Organization, our house. And uh, here I am uh, with very special mission. I want to have the international support because I want to steal the army from the Lukashenko hands. I want to block the second front in Ukraine from Belarusian side. Now we have huge shadow mobilization of Lukashenko. Unfortunately, the Belarusian army is ready to go to Ukraine now. We have many events um, which was organized by the Belarusian army to mobilize the Belarusian men for the war. This is a very sad story, but still we believe that we can do it. Can you imagine how Lukashenko can start the participation in the war, how Lukashenko can send the Belarusian army to Ukraine if he has no soldiers. So our task, our goal is organizing the um, non-participation of Belarusian men in the army and in the, uh, in the going to Ukraine. You know, Lukashenko has a lot of military service. He has a lot of equipment. He has the political support of Vladimir Putin. But he is afraid of us. Usual, ordinary, peaceful Belarusian women in exile. Now I am declared as a terrorist and ninth time extremist by the Belarusian regime. Now my name is published in the website of KGB as a terrorist under the number 373. We started the campaign, no means no, a very feministic campaign, uh, one year ago. But this is the first time in my life when I am starting to fight for the men's right, for the right of men to be conscientious objectors to avoid the participation in the army. The Minister of Defense and the Lukashenko regime reacted for the campaign. We involved one Lithuanian lawyer uh, to help us uh, with the status of the Belarusian conscientious objectors, Belarusian refugees in Lithuania. And uh, several months later, the lawyer, Lithuanian lawyer, was arrested by the Lithuanian police and Lithuanian Department of the Intelligence Service under the suspicions of Yeshpianash to KGB. Should you imagine that KGB recruited the EU citizen, Lithuanian citizen, to follow for us totally peaceful women in exile? When we organized the campaign uh, to support Belarusian consensus objectors, uh, our colleagues from non-violent movement uh, supported us. Um, connection EV, EV in Germany, BSV in Germany, non-violent movement in Italy, um, IEPCA uh, as the European Bureau for Conscientious Objectors, and the War Resistance International, uh, and many others from the War Object Campaign. We organized the common action international action to support Belarusian conscientious objectors on February 20, 2023. So it was not very long time ago. The Belarusian regime answering for our action, for our campaign. On February 21st, 2023, the Belarusian parliament voted for the death penalty for the deserters. So now for the man who is trying to leave the army, who is trying to contact us, who is trying to stop his participation in the violent activities, now the man can be shooted. Now the man can be killed. But we don't step back. For me, it's very clear that we will continue our campaign. 
we will continue to fight for the Belarusian conscientious objectives and deserters. We need what we need from Europe. We need humanitarian corridor. We need the political support uh, to help Belarusian men to avoid the participation in the army. We need your international solidarity. We need your pressure for European politicians. We want to say thanks, thank you and thanks all our colleagues from the non-violent movement for the support. Because alone we cannot change anything. Together we can stop the war, we can return peace to our region. We all need the peace. Thank you very much.